Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying Gia Cabino's Handmade Chicago Style Pan Pizza. This is a sausage take and bake, it says. Um, it says, um, San Marzano style tomatoes, real cheese, extra virgin olive oil crust. Every pizza is handmade. This was $6.49 at Aldi and comes up easy enough. So what you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. It only has oven instructions. You remove the plastic wrap and the cardboard but I'm gonna keep my cardboard so that I can take it out and put it on there and cut it on the cardboard. But you remove the uh, plastic and the cardboard, place on the baking sheet, um, place on baking sheet and middle rack in oven. So I'm gonna get out a cookie sheet and lay, the, lay this whole thing on a cookie sheet. Bake approximately 22 to 24 minutes until crust is golden brown. Remove from oven and let rest for two minutes. So I'm going to put mine on. Kevin and I like a little scald on ours. So I'm going to put it in for the full 24 minutes and then we'll be back. So this is the pizza and I'm going to move it on here so that we can uh, cut it, like I said. And this is a, a pan pizza. Uh, it's, it's thick, very, very thick. You think you're supposed to eat this with a fork? <laughs> like a meal. Yeah. I mean, look I at that. I think it's a lot of bread, though. It is very, very uh, doughy. Yeah, bready. Okay, this is a 10-inch pan-style pizza. It, if you divide it into six pieces, one-sixth of the pizza is 270 calories. And these are manufactured by Gia Cabino's in South, uh, uh, Chicago, Illinois. So. Sorry, I ate a piece of sausage. So oh, okay, <laughs> just the sausage. And I tried some of the crust in the back, just the bread for them. Yeah, the I like the nice sausage. Though. The crust in the back mm -hmm. tastes like a bread I've made before, like a homemade bread. It kind of smells like a beer, uh, like it, like a a beer, beer bread bread. or something. Tell me if that doesn't taste like a bread I've made, like a homemade mm. bread machine bread almost. Very yeasty. It does. It's very, yeah, but I love it. Mm -hmm. It's good. That would be good for uh, bread sticks to dip in mm -hmm. marinara. The center could be hotter. Mm -hmm. And we left it in the, the higher end of the, the time. The full time. We left it in, the range was between 22 and 24 minutes. We left it in for the full 24 minutes. You can see it didn't burn it or anything like that. But the very center of it, we like our, if the food's supposed to be hot, we like it really, really hot. And this is just kind of like warm in the middle. It's not, it's not frozen or anything, but it's not hot, hot either. I'm trying to make a, decision on a sauce. It's a sweeter sauce. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have really a lot of spice to it at all. You're going to be surprised. I really do. I, I like it. I do like it. I like the sausage. It has some spice to it. My favorite part of this though is the bread. The crust. The crust. I really do like that it does, crust. It has a homemade yeasty bread kind of flavor. It has a lot of flavor. I, mm -hmm. I, I, it ha just has a really nice flavor. The um, the sauce itself though is um, it's not spicy or anything. No, it's a very sweet sauce. But I tell you what, you get a bite of the sauce with the sausage. The sausage mm -hmm. adds the spice you're looking for in mm -hmm. the sauce, and it tastes pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like it. Just know that most of the calories you're getting is from the, it's bread. From the bread. The topping is very, very thin. Mm -hmm. Very thin layer of cheese. 
very thin layer of cheese and you don't, uh, sauce on you it. don't get a ton of sausage no and, and there's like we, we got the two pieces that had the most on it the other two over there probably don't have half this much yeah they don't have very much sausage on that would be my only if i was to complain about some of them i would like more sausage a little more sausage um even if they'd made smaller pieces spread over more better yes because then yes exactly cut them in half or something and make it go further mm -hmm. because um, it just doesn't seem like you get very much sausage, and it's supposed to be a sausage pizza. Right. But I absolutely like this, and I like this a lot more than the, I think it's Geno's East. We've gotten those mm -hmm. at they're, Aldi. Their crust is not as good. It, no, this this is much, much, much better. Mm -hmm. So this was the only one that we saw when we went to Aldi um, was the sausage. They may very well at your Aldi, they may have had a combination or pepperoni or something like that. I would love to try those. If oh, I yeah. ever saw them, I would definitely try them. I would try them. What's sure. funny about the um, Geno's East is we had only seen them before in Aldi and then Meyer started selling them too. So maybe that will happen with Gia Cabido's too. Yeah. Maybe they'll go from Aldi and maybe we'll see those in Meyer. We might see other. Uh, uh, varieties, but I would absolutely buy one of these again. I would try to, I think I would leave it in another two minutes. I do too. I would leave it in a little bit longer. Yeah, because because like I said, it's not just that we like a little scorch on it. We also like it a little hotter. Yes. And, and it just didn't get quite hot enough. And our oven was preheated. Oh and yeah. Was fine, yeah. So. so, but good pizza. Yeah. I'll have pictures for you at the end. If you've ever tried this brand, let us know because this is totally new to us. So we hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.